People who eat agbadu and cassava regularly will not understand why it is used against Turumbu and Sheung or Sewa. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Sheung or Sewa reacted to the repeated statement of mentioning some local food that has been used to campaign against the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Ahmed Turumbu. Some Nigerians have started campaigning for the private candidate ahead of a 2023 presidential election. Social media has been full of political discussion and campaigns for some time, as supporters of each candidate tend to use some action or speech of their opponent to go against them. It will be noted that some time ago there was a trending video where the former Lagos governor and presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Ahmed Tunubu, was addressing people and stated that 50 million Nigerian youth could be employed in the army and that are available food such as Agbadu, corn, and cassava for them to eat. This statement has been one of the frequent statements being made to the campaign against the candidacy of Ahmed Tunubu. And many people, especially those who are not opportune to watch the video, might not even understand why people are using it against him. In view of this, Sean Osawa took to his Twitter page and stated that the frequent mention of looking for his campaign against Surumbu could be a kind of elicist and that the millions of people who eat Agbadu and Cassava regularly would not even understand why the statement is funny. Sean Osawa's post goes thus. The campaign for against Surumbu based on his frequent mention of local food is kind of Elitist. The millions of people who eat Agbadu and cassava regularly will not understand why it is so funny. People involved in growing, selling, and cooking that might even like him for the mentions. He stated this position on the statement while noting that many people are involved in growing, selling, and cooking that food, which may not make them, which may make them like him for the mention. Well, uh. People are using that video because they feel Tenebu is only Tenebu and some other people. Before I go, uh, Miss Quotes now. Tenebu and other contestants have not come out to tell Nigeria what they are going to do. Not just what they are going to do, how they are going to go about what they do. The, in his campaign, when he was campaigning for the primary election, he made mention of employing 50 million Nigerian youth. For goodness sake, how do you just employ? Why do you take all our workforce and put it into the Nigerian army? You won't make all of them go fight who are now going to be the people who are going to be developing our technology. For goodness sakes, huh? Help me ask. Then, coming out to say, it is a badu, it is corn, is it beans, is it dodo? It's not clear. Yes, people might feel, uh, shame shame might, be, might, be, might be right. Shame might be right. But the thing is, I never see yet the manifesto of the all progressives. And the thing that will shock you people is they're not going to mention anything the All Progressive has done. They're going to be marketing to number. Meanwhile, it's going against their, their party their structure. <laughs> okay. APC just come. The same way they began foreign, they banned foreign rights in, Niger in Nigeria, but in Nassau Rock and other government office, they don't eat local rights. They told us to be eaten, but eat foreign rights. They banned it for over six years. Go to all the custom official houses. You will see for yourself. The same way these presidential candidates may be banned foreign beans and be feeding Nigeria with corn and cassava. Hello. <laughs> Are you for real? Okay, all Nigerians, come 23. They don't tell a person who to vote for. They're going to vote wisely. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I call you next time, enjoy the rest of your day.